Crazy Time Podcast. I'm Jonas. I'm TNT Don. I'm Mike the Explosive One. Let's crack into another one. TNT. Yeah. So, they, uh, I don't know if you, you don't really eat eggs. No, I'm not a fan. But egg prices have got ridiculous because they had to have, like, the culling. They had to, like, kill a bunch of chickens because they had, like, a bird flu or something. Is that what happened? Yeah, I think, oh, I well, that's what they inf- said happened. And then you know how everyone just starts price gouging when there's a, a <laughs> supply shortage? Yeah. So it's like... It's like they, you know, they just drive the price up like ridiculous. It was like it was like eight bucks or six bucks or seven bucks for like an eighteen pack of eggs, which is stupid because a dozen eggs used to be like two dollars. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I thought it had something to do with the fact that they found secret documents in Joe Biden's closet. Next yeah, to his it was cars. it was about the eggs. So I thought that's what it was. Eggs Land Best is a is a uh, egg, Best, egg, yeah, egg yeah. company. Yeah, and they are. I, I want to. I feel like this is a joke, but I don't think it is. Not sponsored. They're creating a a uh, a crypto. <laughs> oh Jesus! That's that's stabilized by the price of a, a single egg, and if when you own their coin, you can then at any point trade the coin for one real egg, and you get to lock in your price at at like so. If you buy eggs when they're like. The cost of an egg now is like, say, like 40 cents or whatever because of whatever it is. Sure. If the price of eggs go up to 80 cents per egg, you still have your e- – you can still cash your your egg token in for an egg. So it's almost like a, a, a commodity crypto yeah. Yeah, 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 in yeah. a way. Like, yeah. like I own I own coffee futures or whatever, but it's kind of <laughs> like that. But, th- but here's the problem. The eggs aren't going to stay as expensive forever, so they're no. going to they're going to bring out this coin when the cost of eggs are like forty cents a coin, yeah, and the, or a piece, and then in like a year they'll go back down to like ten cents an egg, exactly. and everyone's going to get shit on. But the- and it's then and then it's like oh, so the next time that there's like a price gouge or the like you know another bird flu or something, that's when people are going to sell, essentially. Right. And there's not going to be enough on the market because there's going to, like the other. And, well, and, and there's there's more eggs being created. Like eggs ebb and flow every day. How the hell do they keep the supply count? That's and I don't want egg. I, can I just get cash? Yeah, I don't know. It's it, I I read it and I was like I was like that sounds stupid. Good, stupid. It and sounds I was like, stupid. I see the like point, but not the point at all. Like yeah. who's going to Eglin's Best with their crypto wallet and being like, I'd like to take out six eggs, please. They're like, there's forty <laughs> cents from your crypto wallet. Sir. Yeah, there's there's so many questions. Like where do you turn it in to to get your if you want to crash in. Can it, I do cash? It, it basically just turns into a commodity. Like, you're, you're not actually, like, buying coffee. You're just, yeah. like, you're buying the rights to buy coffee, and that's yeah. what you're buying and selling. Essentially, it's like gambling on a football game when you're like, will Joe Montana have three or more touchdown passes today? It's essentially the same thing, but with will eggs go up or down in price. I'm going to hold on to the right to buy eggs. It's so insane to me. I, honestly, I feel like crypto's ruining the world. Really? Yeah, like I, I, I'm not gonna lie, Jones. We 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 had a good run in crypto. I, I, I companies don't know how to handle it. When it, it has now gotten to the point where it's so popular that people just don't know how to handle it, and you can tell because the NFT is what is killing crypto. Yeah, but I think, but I think that's gonna be what ends up saving crypto. And what NFTs yeah. or the egg coin? <laughs> yes, the egg coin. No, NFTs are gonna end up saving crypto. But they already killed crypto. But they're gonna. I, I think it. And I think here's the thing. I think how is it going to save it if it's already hurting it? Because because the initial like when people the internet first came out, people said the internet was trash. And look what the internet's done. No, this is a little different. No, this it's is, not. This is crypto. When crypto first came out, it was trash, and then people adopted it, and then uh, it ended up getting like I don't know uh, gout in wow. the form of an NFT. And no, now you're saying NFTs- is that this gout is going to save my life? Tokenization of assets is going to change the way businesses. Yeah, but crypto did that. It was I, I'm yeah, saying, and, but tokenization of assets is essentially NFTs. Yeah, but NFTs are the thing that have put a foul taste in the mouth of all crypto people. Right when it, when companies started trying to when Taco Bell started trying to sell you a picture of a Mexican pizza and tell you it's a collectible, that's when it got a little is out that of what hand. Happened? When Azalea Banks can sell sounds of her having sex with another person for eighty thousand dollars as an NFT, that's when it becomes a problem. When all when the, Ooh, when Squaresoft decides that they are going to go forward on their NFT model for the future games, 
and charge players a premium for monetary ass for assets in a game, that's when it's a problem. But then they own the assets. Jo- Jonas. <laughs> I don't want but, your but pic- then, but I don't then, want your pictures. But tickets I don't are want your sounds of you fucking on tokenized camera. ownership of like cars and houses. It's all on the blockchain. It's public. You can't fraudulently okay, do it. So look, a hundred percent. The things that it could be used for sound great. They're already but the working things that on that. It is be the the things it can be used for. The things that they're working on doing fine. But it has already solidified itself as a piece of shit. All right, it is oh. all. All it is solidified. If you ask a common person what they think about NFTs, they're going to be like, "Oh, pictures for sale. Or that's collectible. Sounds like well, bullshit." Right, but that's Tro- why you get. That's why you get in now, and then in twenty years, when it's mass adopted, you're going to be the one oh. that's swimming in Scrooge okay. McDuck's coins. Oh, okay, so where's your Trump? Where's your Trump card? I don't have NFTs. I'm where's not your, buying. Where's your Trump I'm, card? I I invest in crypto. How many NFTs do you own? I don't have any. I don't want any. I don't need pictures. So the person, the proponent for NFTs in this living room, the person that is telling me that NFTs are going to save crypto is telling me they don't even own any NFTs. And I know for a fact you own crypto. If, if, no, dude, if they, if, if I could talk, if I could get an NFT of my car title and keep it on the blockchain, I would do that. That will happen. I will do that. Like I said, I think <laughs> that potentially it could. I'm not going to sit up here and say that it, it, it will save crypto because that, that, that's, that's an insane take. We don't know. We don't know for sure. But I can tell you right now is that it's done more harm than it has good. I mean, people have lost a ton of money. Yeah, I mean, I will say that it, but with any new thing, people are going to get scammed, man. People got scammed on the internet all the time. Yeah, ain't that the truth. Then it's there's the articles from there. back in the day talking about how worthless the internet's going to be and how it's a fad and all this other stuff. Yeah, it's fine crazy. if you believe, you don't believe, whatever. I mean, if I feel comfortable enough putting uh, an investment in something that could go to zero but could pay off really well if that's a if that's a the risk i'm willing to take i mean but the, i mean but with any of these investments man you need some back holders you need yep. to get your money from somewhere and it ain't coming out of the, the ethereal it's not coming from space well, right. pulling and, dollars and, out of the air. it's definitely crypto winner uh, i mean like most cryptos <laughs> yeah. lost like 90 percent of their value yeah but you know what if you buy it in now if it goes up again you you win the you win the money dude yeah, it's very true i mean it's a waiting game DCA, huh? you keep your cost average going down as the price goes down you just keep but that's the thing it's like anything else. People invest in the stock market in trash stocks, and they do nothing but go down. But if you watch a good stock go down and you buy in when it's low, when it, it's eventually going to go back up because it's a good thing. So if you get into the coins and the crypto market, the coins that are worthwhile. But you never know. You don't. You it's never the same know. With stocks. You, you got to look at patterns I give you and trends or whatever, but you never know. No, and you don't. And you don't know where the bottom is. You don't know where the top is. That's why I say if you if you consistently say like – for well, you just use Bitcoin because that's the one that like most people know about – just if you you're better off just throwing a hundred dollars a week a month whatever you do right mm-hmm. into no matter the price as it goes up and down just keep putting a hundred dollars in over time it all corrects itself because eventually like your cost average goes up and down but if you're like if you ride it all the way up and then as it's going down you're like f that i'm not gonna keep buying in it's trash now then you're missing out the chance to lower your cost average so when it goes back up you're more profitable but you have to believe it's going up and it has yeah, to go back up. That's and, the problem. And, and belief ain't really ain't really done anything for anybody. And if you're man. buying into something that's like twenty thousand dollars for one, it has a lot of room to go down. Yeah. And that's the problem. Yeah. Like you're like that's like when you look at a stock and it's like, oh, it's a hundred dollars a share, and you're like, oh, I'll buy one share of this stock, and then the thing goes down to ten bucks. You're like, I lost ninety percent of my money. Yeah. And it has to go up like a thousand percent to get you back to even. Yeah. So yeah, there's a lot of uh, different different things. But I think no, dude, I think it's gonna be. I don't know. Uh, I like I say we. Don't, I don't know about the future, but I can tell you about the present. Um, and presently, I think that NFTs have left a bad taste in people's mouths. And you know, frankly, I'm I'm not mad at it. I mean, your Trump NFTs skyrocketed bruh, in value. Bruh, that's exactly what I'm talking and then about. They, they, and then they and then they and sunk is, down. This is what I'm talking about because it, it's just, it, people are looking at NFTs a lot of times. It's like, um, especially. They're just, like they're scams, like the Trump NFT, the Warner Rhodes that, porn star yeah. crypto mama or whatever it was called, and then yeah, that millions feel like of a dollars scam. and they just abandoned the project. And it's like they're always under the guise of like it's a collectible, but no, I don't want to be yeah. any baby. What uh, what what is what is starting to happen? And this is where I think the the first transition is going to be is 
they um they do things where if you buy the nft you unlock special features and things like hey join buy my nfts this will get you like access to a meet and greet with me or whatever and that and that's where the value comes from not not the picture right like the picture isn't worth ish because you can yeah. screenshot a picture but if you have a thing that like you're like oh my favorite band is whoever We'll just say the Rolling Stones, and then you have a Rolling Stones NFT that if you go to this concert, you can get you get backstage access for a meet and greet or whatever because you own this NFT, and no one can duplicate it. You can't fraudulently sell it. If you buy it off uh, Craigslist off someone, they have to send you the NFT. It's on the blockchain. It cannot be duplicated. And then people people like stuff like that. I don't. <laughs> Uh, the, the person who has every ticket from every concert and movie they've ever I wish I to. had more. I don't have every one, but yeah. <laughs> you literally have those, those oh, yeah. NFTs. If, oh, I would absolutely in a million. Like, But here's the problem. I can't take those and display them. Where am I going to display my NFTs? You can also, they, I guarantee I you that someday there's going to be frames that you have in your house that you hook your crypto wallet to and it will it will display your nfts honestly that's not a bad idea yeah i, I guarantee you that's not a bad that's idea. the business we should get into honestly that's yeah. really not a bad idea i don't know how many people would be like i need to see my board ape yeah that, but if it's better than just it's better than just keeping them in a goddamn phone so yeah. anyways i don't know where we're at on time but uh that's all the time we have for today's episode please go to crazytown.com for jonas tnt oh uh, we have